camera speed. Now, here is a motion picture film. Good evening, and welcome to Real Movies. Tonight's film is a strange piece that has all the markings of a Hammer horror film, but instead comes from American International Pictures, the home of King of Cult, Roger Corman, and his series of horror movies based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Like many of those films, tonight's movie stars the iconic Vincent Price. Tonight's film is the abominable Dr. Fibes. Although released in 1971 by American International, The Abominable Dr. Fives is very much a British picture with a very British sense of humour. Directed by Robert Foost with a screenplay by Louis M. Hayward and Ronald S. Dunas, the picture follows the put-upon Inspector Trout of Scotland Yard, who eventually realises that a spate of seemingly unrelated deaths amongst medical professionals are in fact bombastic serial killings committed by a man long since dead When rushing back to his sick wife from Switzerland, Dr. Fives crashed and was thought to have died in the inferno. Fives' wife died in surgery, and now all those involved are being killed in particularly gruesome fashion. But who would do such a thing? Fives is dead, isn't he? The film is utterly bombastic and incredibly ballsy in both its look and sound, opening with an immense organ piece as the picture launches into its 94 minute runtime filled with gaudy art deco set design from beginning to end. Couple this with continued moments of pure music where the viewer is left wondering what on earth is going on and you've got a film that trusts and respects its audience. In fact, the first 15 minutes are totally without any explanation and to the movie's credit, this draws you into a mystery that is actually very well balanced. When you come to realise the film was directed by Robert Foost, who got his start working on the cult British spy-fi classic The Avengers, it becomes clear where the unique style and tone of Dr. Fives originates. Walking the line between straight and camp with unique visuals, Dr. Fives was the most successful of Foost's films. Its sequel didn't match the success of the original, and whilst his previous work, and soon The Darkness, received immense critical acclaim, Foost's film The Devil Reign was so lambasted by critics and the public that it essentially ended his career, finishing in the 80s with French softcore pornographic picture Aphrodite. Vincent Price receives top billing for good reason here as the titular Fibes, stealing every scene he is in as you would expect, even though he barely says a word for most of the film. Instead, with a few gestures and facial expressions, Price delivers a performance that is sad and subtle. He seems not to take pleasure from the killings, but instead carries them out with a melancholic resignment. With his audacious organ playing, penchant for capes, and hidden disfigurement, I do wonder if Andrew Lloyd Webber took as much inspiration from Fives as he did the original novel when writing his blockbuster musical, The Phantom of the Opera. More often than not, any film starring Vincent Price leaves the rest of the cast in the shadows, but here, Peter Jeffrey, who would later appear as a villain alongside Tom Baker's Doctor in Doctor Who, not only holds his own, but delivers a fantastic and engaging performance as Inspector Trout, who is in so over his head he's come back out the other side. Jeffrey makes the film just as watchable as Price, but it does need a certain type of audience. Though fondly remembered by a generation of cult film enthusiasts, The Abominable Dr. Fives is a film very much of its time, and some modern audiences may be left confused by its strange tone and odd splatters of humour amongst some pretty gory visuals. I was intrigued throughout, really enjoying the mystery woven into the camp, and I do wonder what Dr. Fives would look like if played straight. That said, there is one gag in particular following one of Fives' contrived murders that left me howling with laughter. Unfortunately, moments of laughter were pretty scarce in what is described as a black horror comedy. However, it's not particularly scary either, and such is the unevenness in its tone that, whilst entertained, I appreciated it was a cult film indeed, enjoyed by a particular audience. So, keep it cult, and prepare to see Vincent Price in all his gothic best with ridiculous sets, a bombastic score, and a bonkers script. This is the abominable Dr. Fibes. <laughs> 